You ever heard a rumor about yourself and actually wanted to hear more? Like, damn, what did I do next? <laughs> Kaylin Lowry has never been one to hold back. During her years as one of the stars of MTV's Teen Mom franchise, she shared every aspect of her life with fans, and she's just as candid in her new life as a podcast host. But there are some events from her past that even Kale has a hard time. In October of 2019, for example, Lowry says she was assaulted by Chris Lopez, the father of her two youngest children. Lowry has alluded to the incident, revealing that Lopez attacked her so viciously that she feared for her life. It wasn't until this week, however, that Kale went into detail about the assault. As the Ashley's Reality Roundup reports, Lowry appeared on Bunny Exo's Dumb Blonde podcast, offering a detailed account of Chris' shocking attack. I've never really discussed the circumstances. It was not a good time, Kale told Bunny. Chris had shown up at my house. We had this crazy situation happen. I thought I was going to die, Lowry added. I think the only reason I fought for my life, he literally put my face into the couch and smothers me. I remember, like, turning my head a certain way and being able to like a gasp for air. Kale says she can recall thinking, he's going to kill me, as she fought for breath. Then I threw my phone under my bed because I thought, if he gets my phone, I won't have any way to call for help, she added. I had never fought him before, when he put his hands on me or, you know, abused me, I don't know what took over me, but I fought for my faking life that night. Lowry says that even after the attack that caused her to fear for life, she was still reluctant to get the authorities involved. And I still did not want to call the faking police, she said. I was like, I want you to choose me. I want you to get better. Kale gave birth to Creed, her second son with Chris, in July 2020. So either she was already pregnant at the time of the incident, or she became pregnant by Chris shortly after that. After a preview clip from the interview appeared online, Lopez went on TikTok Live to answer questions from fans. Is she talking about when she punched me in the face numerous times? Chris said, I ain't almost killed nobody, bro. No cap, no cap, he continued. I never almost killed anybody. Everybody was always, always breathing. They always had room to breathe. They always had their phone. I never, ever, ever killed anybody. From there, Lopez admitted to choking Lowry, but denied that he ever struck her. I hope, Kale, told you the whole truth, not no made up version. Not no shit that they thought happened, Lopez said. I'm not saying her story's not wrong. I already owned up to my shit. No, the story's not wrong. I did choke her. I already admitted that. It's already on my record, he added. The DV, domestic violence, is true. I'm not gonna hide from that. That's something I'm honest about. The DV part is true. But the whole beating her up part? No, that's not true. I never beat her up. I never did any of that shit. Lopez argued that his attack on Kale was justified because she struck him first. But if you want to sit here and tell the story of DV, then tell the part where you physically attacked me, he said. Multiple times. Not just once, not just twice, not just three times either. So if you're gonna tell the truth, tell the whole faking truth, bro. If you're gonna sit here and paint to be abusive, then say the part where you started hitting that man first, Lopez continued. I don't know what the fact I was thinking. I was drunk. But that doesn't take away from the fact of what I did. It doesn't make it right. Chris and Kale previously argued about the incident in July of 2020 when she threatened to reveal the reason behind her decision to file for an order of protection in October of the previous year. I already felt bad. You know how long it took me to accept this shit and everything I went through from all this shit? Lopez said at the time. Clearly, Chris still sees himself as the victim in all of this. Kale has not responded publicly to his bizarre comments and shocking admission of guilt. As new information becomes available, we'll have further updates on this developing story.